Welcome back to the Guardians of the Gaming Channel. Today we're playing Ares in this post 10.5 Smite Arena build, but a very, very heavy tank Smite Arena build. So for today's build, we're going to use uh, Perf uh, Sundering Axe, Perfected Cloak, Spirit Robe, Gauntlets of Thebes, Gladiator Shield, and the Hunter's Garb. Dude, this build is going to be redonkulous, dude. It's going to give us full uh, protections for both. Uh, physical and magical and we're going to max out mitigations but but still being able to do some really nice damage right now Ares is one of those leader type tanks that can absorb a lot of damage putting all the enemies um attacks on cooldown allowing his team to move forward and wipe them out right but before you get too far too in this video if you need to channel please subscribe and channel's notifications we tend to put out videos weekly and we're now streaming every tuesday 11 30 eastern standard time on our Twitch channel. And you want to play some really cool people? I got an invite to our Discord description, any of our videos, and our website, guardsofgaming.com. Okay, so here we go with our super tank build for Ares. Is this build going to work for us? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go with a post 10.5 build for Ares. Now, Ares is... <laughs> Ares actually is one of my favorite tanks, man. Not the top favorite, but he's definitely up there in the top 10 for sure. Uh, for the simple fact that dude he is just so powerful legging and brings so much to the okay. table because his number two actually beefs up his crew right so it makes for some really awesome defense especially legging now with today's build uh today's build should be insane for protections uh, let's see what we got going yeah i still got that starter bug so i gotta be very very careful let's do this Right, all right. Yeah, the servers are acting a little wonky today, so <laughs> hopefully we won't have too many issues. But yeah, this build is going to be crazy, dude. Not only is it going to give us full protections like we like to see with the areas, but he's actually going to get a little bit of damage, too, in the way of that starter item. And gladiator shield, so we'll see how this works out. Now, today we're with uh, almost all reapers. All reapers except for two. We got two pugs, two reapers with us, so it's 50-50. <laughs> make that make him run for it all right all right I don't know why these guys are playing so passive all right let me head back and get some mana Be right oh, back. Hell. Now I played Ares in our last stream, and it did the build worked really, really well. I just My tweaked God. it a little bit to give him a little bit more damage to see how it would work for him. So Be that's right what we're back. gonna test. I added that Sundering Axe, I believe it's called, that starter item, to see if that's gonna be better than that Spectral Armor. Especially seeing how it doesn't look like they have too many uh, gods in the way of crit gods. Oh, he got out of there if I could get him. Nice. Alright. Be right back. Be right back. Okay. Ultimate is down. I can't see crap. They thought they had me. me they down. thought they could stop the God of War. <laughs> On my way. Very nice. Whoops. Right back. Ultimate is ready. So much so, uh, so far so good. That tire is, is keeps on trying to get out behind us. You gotta be careful. He's trying to push us towards his peeps like he should be, right? So we're gonna be careful with that, that he doesn't get in, um, behind us. Now I ended up doing uh, an insect cast on my uh, one. I gotta be careful with that too. I'm still getting used to that. Uh, 
Ah, I forgot that once you're breathing fire, you can't uh, cast anything unless you cancel out. Ah, uh, not what I was trying to do. I forgot I got that on auto cast too. Okay, yeah, I got. I ended up putting everything on auto cast because the servers were acting really wonky and it was causing my attacks not to go off. And I think with Ares, I should be able to ride. I just got to get used to it. I'm not used to playing with it, but once I think once I get used to playing with um, the insta cast, that uh, it's, it might make things a little bit smoother. Now I just switch it back, right? Keep forgetting that Kukukon is not on my side. He's walking into his stuff. I can't see crap. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't see nothing. Up them defenses, baby. Build up them defenses. First game of the day, too, so that's another thing. Back, get another item. Inchworm, inchworm. All right. There we go. Now we can start getting our stacks going. Doing really good on our on our, on our um cloak. Nice, nice.
Ooh, 26 stacks already. Let's go. We're at 230 physical protections and uh, one, I mean, in, in um, 225 physical protections with my number two buff, which is really nice, really nice. Good deal, good deal. Slow me down. The killing spree has just begun. The enemy has been slain. Minions have reached your fortress. Alrighty then, I don't know, I guess that's, that uh, Savannah's had his beads, because I thought it was going to be an easy kill, but ended up he didn't come. Somebody get him off me. Or not. <laughs> or not. Very nice. Minions. All right, all right. You must find strong Close game, man. Close game. Boy, this dude is tanky as crap. Let me tell you. Nice, nice, nice. Level nineteen. Nice, very nice. We <laughs> those mitigations are nice, boy. Those mitigations are nice. We should get a full build now. Yes, and then we're gonna add a little bit more attack power to this. 195, let's go, baby. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Boy, he was beefy. Beefy. Let's see how we did, man. Let's see how we did. <laughs> oh, man. I, it felt good, man. It felt like I was Superman. It felt like I was invincible. Let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. Ali, that build, man. That build was nasty. All right. So let's see how we came out. So we came out 4, 4, and 15 
30,000 player damage as the freaking tank, which built tank, which is freaking amazing. 10 million damage, 35, um, we took in 35,000 um, points of damage, but we mitigated 78,000 points of damage, which is really, really nice. Let's see how we came out stat wise. So stat wise, we came out with max physical, max magical, max CC, max HP five, 3,379 hit points, max cooldown reduction and 246 magical <laughs> dude that is such a nasty build and of course we had the passive of that sundering axe and the passive of that gladiator shield that did even more damage plus we had the mitigations 15 percent mitigations from the cloak another um nine mitigations from if we had three of the enemy around us, which pretty much put it one under cap. And then of course the mitigation, uh, if we got CC'd with the spirit road. But man, that is our post 10.5 build for Aries. Hey man, are you playing Aries in 10, and post 10.5? So put your build in the comments down below. I'll let us see what you're rolling with, right? And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Dark Garza, your OG on GC. See you next time.